Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Rachel Briers, and here's a look at your one minute weather. Well, you're ready for another hot day, but unlike the past couple of days, we do actually have a chance to see a few cooling downpours, especially as we head into the afternoon as well as going into the evening, looking at about a 30% chance at its highest. Now, also today is an ozone action day, so if you are sensitive to ozone, you may want to spend some of those peak afternoon hours indoors. And even if you're not sensitive to ozone, you may want to spend time indoors today as well because it is going to get very hot out there with our high temperatures topping out in the upper 90s. But yes, we do have a chance of seeing a few of those isolated showers and storms popping heading into the afternoon and evening. If we do happen to see some stronger storms try to develop, some gusty winds over 30 miles per hour cannot be ruled out. So we'll continue to keep a close eye on that and also could be looking at some pockets of some heavier rainfall. So rather isolated today, but then as we head into Thursday, especially Thursday afternoon, another disturbance is going to roll on in. This one will be a little bit stronger and that should help to pop up some more scattered activity. So a little bit more widespread than what we are seeing today. Same threats there going to be looking at the potential for lightning pockets of heavy rainfall and also some gusty winds. Friday going to be very similar as well, looking at another chance for those scattered showers and storms. But really, as we head into the end of the week, we're really going to be watching what's happening over in the Caribbean. That system that is currently just north of South America in the southern portions of the Caribbean Sea now has a high chance of development over the next five days. And it does look like it will mainly move to the northwest as we head into the next few days. So let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at this system. Right now it is very disorganized, coming in with max wind speeds of 30 miles per hour, moving to the west right now at 25 miles per hour. But let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at some of these spaghetti models coming in. You can see over the next few days they do take this generally up to the northwest. But a lot of this has to do with when this develops, where will that center actually develop? Once we figure that out, then we'll know a lot more about where this could end up going. But you can see right now we are expecting this to make its way into the southern Gulf of Mexico. From there, though, you know, we have models going all the way off to the east, over to the east of Louisiana, as well as over into the northern portions of Mexico. So I would say er areas from Louisiana to northern Mexico really should be on alert. Now, one of the reasons we're actually having to wait to actually get a better picture of where this is going to go and how strong it could get is because it's not expected to develop really over the next day or two. Reason for that is it's going to encounter some high wind shear. That's what you are seeing here in purple as we head into the next 24 to possibly 48 hours. So it has to get through that high wind shear area and then it looks like it will start organizing itself a bit more. So let's go ahead and let's break it down. What we know so far, we do have that potential for this tropical system to develop in the Gulf this weekend. At this time, impacts cannot be ruled out along the Texas coast, cannot be ruled out but definitely not guaranteed. Here's what we don't know. What impact, if any, that we could see here in southeast Texas. Again, it's a little bit too early where exactly that system will go and the potential strength of this system. So we are going to be really trying to answer these two questions as we head into the next few days. And we will know a lot more once that center does start to form. But don't worry, we will continue to keep a close eye on it. We'll continue to bring you those updates. In the meantime, what's something you can do is make sure you have your hurricane prepared, hurricane kit prepared in case you end up having to use it. But back here at home, we will be watching for that chance for scattered showers and storms and also watching for all of that heat as we head into the end of this week. A chance for some more scattered showers and storms through the weekend. And then next week's forecast will be very dependent on what ends up happening with that system that's currently in the Caribbean. And we will continue to bring you all the latest updates right here on ABC 13.